you have something to say, and blogs provide a place to say it and be heard. Many blogs are written to help people who may be going through similar situations. Or maybe you'd like to blog about a personal interest or hobby. Maybe you'd like to influence political change. Truth is, the path to blogging success is to simply blog for you. Write about what makes you happy and the challenges you face every day. The rest will take care of itself. We decided to get you started on WordPress. There are other free blogging platforms, but learning WordPress will help you if you ever want to make blogging a career. Step 1. First, type www.wordpress.com into the URL window, or what's called the address bar at the top of the screen. Or, if you look below this video, you'll see a link you can click to go straight to WordPress. Hang on, don't go away yet. It'll be easier if you watch this video all the way through first. Another helpful link you'll find below the video opens up a list of written instructions you can print out. Step 2. Click the large orange Sign Up Now button that is over on the top right side of your screen. Step 3. Fill out the form. I know, I know, the dreaded username must be chosen. The good news is it doesn't have to be unique like it does on Twitter. So just pick something easy like your first name or your initials and a number that has a significance, like your birth date, anniversary, or graduation year. And the password. As we've said in other instructions, just find something you can remember that isn't super obvious. Fill in your email address. If you don't have one, go to the instructions on how to set up a free Gmail account, then come back to these instructions. That last box called Legal Flotsam is the standard privacy and service info. Please feel free to read it and make your own decisions as to whether you want to join WordPress. But if it's all good, click the checkbox. The last thing on the form is the option to get a blog or just get a username. Click on Gimme a Blog. Now click the Next button. Step 4. Another form. The blog domain box will automatically fill in with your username. This is the link that shows up in the URL window at the top of your browser. When you want someone to find your blog, this is how the link will look. You can leave it as is or create something different. This is another one that has to be unique. Hang in there until you find one you like that's available. Pay attention because it can't be changed once you choose it. It's best to pick something you'll be blogging about. For example, if you're going to blog about <coughs> dogs, the domain name could be I like dogs.wordpress.com. Or maybe you're going to blog about your life. In that case, maybe your name or nickname is best. The blog title can be anything you want, and you can change it later on. So while the domain name might be bobblog.wordpress.com, the title might be Bob's Big Bag of Blog. Or not. Just fill in the box. Language should be set to English unless you feel like brushing up on your Italian or Swahili. The privacy checkbox should be checked, as long as you want your blog to be findable by the general public. If you want to write a few practice posts and keep them private, or only for a few select people, uncheck the box. You can always go back and make it public later. Step 5. Click Sign Up. If there are any problems with duplicate domain names or other mistakes, red flags will pop up here. Just keep adjusting until everything is okay. Step 6. An email will be sent to your address to activate your account. You have to open that email and click on the link to finalize the setup of your WordPress account. There is additional info on this page about what to do if you don't receive the confirmation email. You can also begin filling out your personal profile. This info will be available for people to see. You can leave it blank for now, if you prefer. Click Save Profile. Step 7. Once you've activated your account and logged in at WordPress.com, you'll see the name of your blog on the left-hand side of the page. Click on it and you'll be taken to the dashboard. This is where you create your blog posts. On the left-hand side of the page, you'll see Add New. Click this and start writing in the text window. Step 8. There are many, many things you can do with a blog post. Add pictures or videos change the color scheme, add links to other pages, etc. WordPress has a Help button in the upper right-hand corner. Many of the answers to your questions will be found here. By now, you've probably created a Twitter or Facebook account. When you have your first blog post written, you'll have the chance to make all your new social media accounts work together. 
tweet out the link to your blog. And don't forget to include the We Are Visible tag. Then you can put the link in your Facebook status. Wow, you're a multimedia mogul. Well done.